welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a get ready with me. I'm going with some friends tonight to go see Lamb of God, which I'm super stoked about. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, let's get started. First we're going to prime with Hard Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense. And I think I'm going to do something a little bit different with my brows today. And instead of just using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder. I think we're going to use a lipstick. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this lipstick by Kat Von D called Wolf's Mouth. And we're just going to take my brush. And this will stay on just like if, for you, if you were to use like a, a brow pomade. But we're obviously going to have to set this with a brow gel and a little bit more right here. There we go. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to take my Rimmel London Brow This Way brow gel. Which is not the best brow gel I've ever used. There's actually a cheaper one I can get at Shoppers by Essence. But it does the job. There we go. Now we're going to take I was like up all night. Uh, we're gonna take Puff Off by Benefit and put it underneath. This stuff is amazing. It makes me just makes me feel awake, even though I'm really tired. All right, now let's do eyeshadow primer. So we're taking the Urban Decay primer potion which I'm almost out of that just means I have to go to Sephora which I'm not complaining about I have no idea what I'm doing with my eyeshadow yet we're just gonna make it up as we go alright now let's put on some eyeliner taking NARS can't even remember what this one's called long wear something but I've the labels gone all right, so we're just gonna do the waterline. Gosh, my eyes look super green today. I think it's my new hair. Okay, now we're gonna tight line. So we'll do a little bit of exorcist. All right, eyeshadow. First we need a brush. So we're going to take the one of my favorite palettes, Too Faced's Pretty Rebel, and we're going to do a silvery kind of a look. So we're going to take the silver color Jailbird, I'm going to put it on the inner corner. This is the best silver eyeshadow I have ever used. I mean... Come on, look at that. Alright. Oh, and that brush I just used was a, a MAC brush. It's the uh, 21 3SE. So now we're going to take this dark brown called Charming. Put it on the outer. And into the crease. This brush I'm using is just a fluffy brush by uh, Mirabella. I'm gonna go back in with this one. This right here, this follow-up, this is why we don't do foundation first. So I'll take this brush. And it's just about blending them together till you get a look that you like. Then we're taking that co yeah, then we're taking this color, it's called Miss Sparkles, right here, this beautiful black, and we're just going to dab it on top of the brown. And the reason why I didn't just go in with this first is I find this black one kind of hard to uh, work with, plus if you rub it around too much, you, you, you lose a lot of the sparkle. You don't. Back 
Then we're going to take another brush. Not that one. I'm gonna put this. Take my fluffy Hello Kitty brush. This one. And we're gonna go in with this color right here, Dainty. And we're just gonna use it as like a brow highlight. Smooth out the edges so it doesn't look so like boom. Okay, once you have them relatively even, <coughs> okay, so once you have them even, we're gonna take a way different color. So this color is called Totally Fat. And we're taking, I don't even know what this brand is, but it's just a tiny little smudge brush. And we're just going to load it up. And we're going to put it on the lash line. And up a little bit. Stab myself in there. Up into the black. There we go. Now, it's time for eyeliner. Okay, so we're taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. And we're just gonna... People tell me that they're like, scared to use liquid liner, that it's like daunting, and it can be. My advice to you is just small little strokes. And then when you do this, just one quick line. Down. And like when I used to do eyeliner, like I used to like pull my eye, make it still, but it helps when you're just learning to do that. <clears throat> it helps when you're just learning to like maybe like pull it a little, don't pull it like crazy, just a little bit, just don't keep your eyes still. There we go. Okay, now it's time for mascara. I'm gonna put false lashes on. I don't know if I can do it on camera because it's an ordeal, but we can give it a try. So this is just Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara. There we go. Now, follow up under the eyes. Big old fluffy brush. Wipe it away. Alright, so now we're going to do concealer. So we're going to use Kef on D's Tattoo Concealer in light... Light 16. Which... I'm almost out of. I need to go to Sephora. I hate not having a Sephora in my town. Makes it a lot harder for me to get makeup. Because I don't want to wait. I, don't want, I like ordering online, but I don't want to wait. So we're taking a damp beauty blender, just dabbing it a little under the eyes, on the nose, because I can't really there, and under the chin to hide the acne, acne scars. Okay, so we're taking Fit Me Shine Free Balance Foundation, and we're just gonna draw little circles. As you can see, I didn't put any on my forehead. I just am taking whatever is left on the sponge and putting it on the forehead because most of my forehead gets covered by my hair anyways. Plus, I'm going to a concert, so it's gonna get sweaty. Okay, now we're going to take the Walk It Tattoo Powder Foundation. And my Kevlar D contour brush, we're taking the fluffy end. Oh my goodness, Furby! You make it hard to film when you're being noisy. Just barges in, Furby. All right. Now, we're going to contour with the Shame Light Contour Palette. 
They're busy eating. So that's what the noise is. We're picking the second dark color. And fish wings. Drawing. Add that double chin. And then you see how this one is a lot nicer than this one. So we're going to take a light color out of the shame light palette. I'm just going to even this out and just soften the edges. And now I just like to do this fluffy brush and kind of just buffing it all out. Now we're going to take the fan brush. This isn't the best fan brush. I definitely need a new one. But we're just using it for the Candlelight Glow Too Faced Highlight. Put right here. And I don't think I'm going to use blush because I'm going to look too rosy. There we go. Now this step is super important because I am going to a show tonight. And it is going to get hot. I'm using... I can't wait till this is empty because it stinks. But it's the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It works so good. I wish it didn't smell so bad. Put that dry. Now it's time for lipstick. So we're doing the Too Faced Lip Insurance. There we go. Um, I think we're gonna do a This is just Kat Von D's Everlasting Lipstick, Long Wear Lasting, whatever, in Witches. I wish I could wear this all the time, but people stare at me wear black lips, which is a good thing. But, I don't know, I don't think black lipstick is appropriate in all situations. But I mean, like, if you want to wear it, you do you. But I'm in love. All right, now that the makeup is done, let's deal with this mop of the hair. So I don't want to wash my hair yet because I just had it dyed, and I want to wear it down. Actually, I don't know much I need to do with it. We are going to dry shampoo it though. Especially because like, I had it in a ponytail all day yesterday. I think we're good. Alright. Um. That's... There we go. That's everything. Um, if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear what you think of this video. Comment below. Um, if you have any suggestions, comment below. <laughs> um, but if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, links are going to be in the description below. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for joining. Bye.